नमस्ते जय हिंद लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज द टाइम व्हेन वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द टेंपल फॉर राम लला सो राम इज इन द ईथर बट मेनी से भारत के तो रोम रोम में रग रग में आत्मा में राम है सो एवरीबॉडी नोज द स्टोरी ऑफ राम और द एंटायर एस्पेक्ट और द स्टोरी ऑफ रामायण हाउ एवर हु इज द स्टोरी टेलर सो हियर इज अनदर बुक विच इज अगेन अबाउट रामायण बट इन दिस वन it says it's about family and life and the author shantanu gupta is with me he's a busy man he's been uh, doing a lot of literary work and he's also been trying to roam around the world pushing a certain level of uh, academic understanding of bharat and more importantly focused on uttar pradesh ab up mein ram bhi hai up mein yogi ji bhi hai aap dono ki baat kar rahe hain shantanu exactly. so good to have you with us and good to but uh, what's different compared to every other storyteller who's mm-hmm. told the story of ram including amish who's done it yep. uh, amish tripathi so from centuries ago to now yeah everybody has said the story of ram yep. how is this different let me start there uh, aran thank you for having me and jaisi ram to all your viewers uh, so i call it teachings from the ramayana on family and life mm. right and as you rightly said centuries old and the still there is dispute on the dating of ramayana from dr nilesh ok to dk hari they have put different dates to ramayana 7000 years to 14000 years mm. so when valmiki ji wrote it he wrote in 24000 shlokas mm. from bal kand to yuddh kand mm. right that's why it's called the adi kavya it's called the biggest kavya. ever poem ever written right and then the mahabharata face. is even bigger than that right yeah. but yeah it was the oldest yeah. uh, biggest no, mahabharata point. is lesser it's 18000 verses if you the original about, the original yeah, mahabharata. Mahabharata. you're right yeah mm. yeah that's why i keep calling anand is one of the <laughs> best read <laughs> tv person right mm. uh, so he wrote in 24000 shlokas and I do a calculation with a lot of my participants in my Ramayana workshop. Even if you spend one hour a day, hmm. right, and read ten shlokas with shloka and the meaning, it will take you almost twenty-four hundred days, right, hmm. which is almost six seven years. If you do three sixty-five days, right, yeah, if you read ten not, shlokas every day, yeah, every correct. day ten shlokas every day, it will take you seven years to just and one hour a day is like quite a discipline, correct. right, in itself, correct. right, three sixty-five days without any holiday. So meaning, if you take some holidays, it's almost like eight to ten years of effort. So if you start with your kids at the age of ten, by the time they're in college, they will be they'll complete whole Valmiki Ramayana, hmm. which many people may not be able to do. In fact, I have this submission that if uh, Ramanand Sagar might not have made the Ramayana, many of us not might be not the story, hmm. let alone the philosophy of Ramayana. Hmm. So what I did in last six seven years while homeschooling my own kids. I read the whole Ramayana, the Valmiki Ramayana, and the various tikas and various commentaries of Ramayana from Sir Raj Gopali, Sir uh, Sir Raja Ji, to uh, Vivek Devraj. Raj Gopal Acharya to Vivek Devraj. Uh, so he is actually who, written on the cover also. He, he gave me a cover yeah. testimonial. He yeah. liked the uh, content, and I abridged the whole twenty-four thousand shlokas into twenty-five case studies, chronological though, from uh. Balakan to Yudhakar, from hmm. the birth of Rama to the demise of Ravana, and can this case studies, this conversation between two characters. Hmm. Sometimes is Ram and Lakshman, sometimes is Ram and Bharat, sometimes is Jatayu and Ravan, sometimes is Ravan and Ram. Various conversations can they bring out a life lesson for parenting for family, mm. right? And can I can I make Ramayana travel to the breakfast table to the dinner table, right? Mm. There is Murari Babu Katha that's happening. There is a clientele for that, but lot of the millennials millennials may not go go there, right? Mm. I'm not demising that. That's that's amazing, but can I bring this conversation to the dinner table every dinner table? and they debate discuss their fi- family problem their discussions their highs and lows in the context of ramayana that's my attempt mm. so a uh, lot of this in terms of there is no story that is not there in the mahabharat exactly. but there is no story that is in the mahabharat that is not outside the, there exactly. is a exactly. saying about that the mahabharat same. they say exactly. but you are saying that with ramayana also there are a lot of life lessons life and we lessons. can learn it yeah. uh, interesting that you said that this is not just that every samvad has ram in it exactly uh, every conversation can be between multiple people multiple, so correct. one of the conversations which we generally know of is the conversation ram urged Lakshman to have with Ravan because yeah. he says he's a vidwan, so he's learn vidwan life lessons from him. Yeah. But uh, I saw in this an interesting one where you say Taraka had a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was that conversation with, and how is that connected to the Bhagavad Gita or the Gita? Samba? Yeah, so that's very interesting. So uh, the first guru of uh, Bhagwan Sri Ram when he was a teenager uh, for all the four brothers was Rishi Vashishtha. Right? Vashishtha. That was like a classroom training. Mm. and then they graduated to the second teacher rishi vishwamitra like a on job training on the mm. field right mm. earlier they were putting arrow to the target now they are real en- a real enemy and the real enemy was talaka marit subahu yeah. talaka was the first real enemy shri ram faced like in life Correct. and he was only 16 mm. in fact ramayana says 
he is not even 16 so yeah. he must be 15 then yeah. right he must be 15 16 mean a teenager right yeah. and vishwamitra ji says here's tadka in dandkarande must be today's chatisgarh or maybe bundelkhand region of uttar yeah, pradesh that region there is still a dandkarande there, there. there is still yeah, dandkarande that first, region right. tadka like a ferocious demon standing in front vishwamitra is saying shoot this shoot her right he takes the sharpest of the arrow stretches his heart and when he's about to launch it he get like a arjuna like vishada Like, mm. Oh, like Arjuna said, he my, they are my kith and kins. I cannot kill them, and that happened Gita. Mm. And in, but in this case, it was a little different. Vishwamitra ji said, if you think for a long time, she will not leave you. Right? Mm. If you don't kill her, she will kill you. Yeah. Right? So, so that's what a soldier is said. No, that you cannot have a doubt on the trigger because exactly. you don't pull it, the other one is pulling you. People say, right? You can have a quick cop or a dead cop. Dead right? cop. You can't correct. keep thinking. Keep you can't thinking. keep thinking. Correct. So he said. you can have a quick we can have a quick chat but we can't wait for long he said no 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 my my guru told that you can't hurt a woman can you imagine the yeah. the height of morality when mm. the li- it's, a, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a matter of life and death so yeah and, and moral compass uh, uh, so this is the teaching that has come from sage vashishth sage vashishth that keep that you are not going to uh, hurt a woman mess hurt with a woman, woman. Uh, the, uh. how how respectful you have to be woman mm. and vishwam is saying oh, this boy is right this is this is what i teach teach to my disciples but he says that in this case we have to see what is the larger dharma right which normal krishna krishna yeah. narrates right what yeah. is the larger dharma so that's the beauty of indian scriptures they are not between good and bad they are between like one good versus another good two goods are competing two dharmas are competing he says she is only in the body of the woman she doesn't have the daya karuna mamta that we associate a woman with she kills children she kills men she kills women she destroys pujas she kills rishis so in the larger dharma is okay to eliminate her and then he hmm. it takes azar one limit sir but the so, point so, is so that conversation then becomes the dharma as you are seeing it as a physical manifestation of the body exactly or was the mechanism within that is controlling the body what kind of dharma is that entity which is inside residing the body of a woman following Be- beautifully said beautifully yeah, said so but the interesting part of what i feel a 15 16 years old is learning a le- he learned a lesson and using it whenever even when the life and death is in front of uh, him mm. right he's his moral compass is on even when there's a huge crisis yeah i think we normally say okay i will follow all the traffic rules on a good day but if i'm missing my flight i'll break all the f- mm. because and i'll justify to myself also oh my come on yeah today is my i'm missing my flight i can mm. like miss some Uh, See, uh, line, one right? of the commonalities between uh, the Bhagavad Gita or the time yeah. of the Mahabharat, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. we'd say one yuga before, one yuga Ram, before, uh, or one yuga after, one yuga after, one yuga after Ram, is the fact that this messaging, despite both Ram and Krishna being very different very in their different. personality, in their like, thing, exactly. is that an atatai has to be. Uh, attacked or punished, uh, punished attacked, invader. Punished. There is no mercy for an There's invader, no for and there are some four or five rules which very clearly say that somebody who takes something which is not theirs, exactly. you have to get it back. Yeah. And somebody who commits a dharm has to be then seen from that compass of dharma exactly. and a dharm at that level, Beautiful not said. from Beautiful who said. they are. So the, these aspects then tend to uh, remain. So how did you think about? crosswords is just amazing and and <laughs> so you've, you've, you've tried to make you it into, that. You, you've tried so to make it make it into a case study also this yeah. ayodhya kanda crossword is an interesting one yeah. kill the ravan within you exactly. you you want you to exactly. you want them exactly. to write so what you've done is one is try to modernize it a bit while keeping exactly. the original ethos yeah. but how did this happen so uh, as i told you Aran, because this becomes very interesting now what did you learn from this it's like revision exactly. karao bhai tumne exactly. you, you made somebody read a whole chapter and say acha revision see i Write want i want all my readers of this book become storytellers uh, themselves right and they will become storytellers when they know all the names all the places all the context right hmm. so just to revise uh, can i i could have add a like small quiz but i think crossword is a good tool so after every kaand from bal kaand to yudh kaand after every kaand all the six kaand i did a crossword puzzle so that mm. they can revise their all the names all the places all the mm. phenomena that's so, how so it happened so who helped you put this together i think me and my son right ah. so my son is abiram 10 year old i'm home schooling him and in fact because of him i started learning ramayana in this depth around 5 6 years back mm. and i think this is i see what attracts him when he he does his captain americas and spider mans and I'll see how he get engages in those websites. There are a lot of they gamified. So I thought, can I gamify? Hmm. As you said, keeping the soul of the Ramayana, Valmiki Ramayana intact, 
can I use modern learning tools? So that's how the crossword puzzle, and a lot of reflection exercises happened here yeah, in the book. Mm. Yeah. So, and there, there are some lessons. So each one, there is a guidance for the family. Exactly. So, so exactly. This, is, this is one part which you've taken, taken a family scenario. So, so, so what do you do? So you talk about the story yeah. based on the each, each content. Exactly, exactly. And then you create a... Uh, a family situation, family a situation, family situation huh. which is very normal, right? Say you are with your huh. son, you, you do a small accident, how will huh. you behave, right? Huh. So I'm just picking up a random page, I just okay. I had read this page 48, teachings 40, from the 48? Ramana. Yeah, negative company can bring you bad reputation, okay. so that, that's what this says. So this is around the Ayodhya Kanda only yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, you're saying, achha, then you create a case study. So I this is the study. MBA learning. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> this is my Excel right. This XLR, is my XLR XLR right. Yeah. So, so you shifted to a new city, Pune, because of your new job, your son not so happy with this move and as he had to leave his society, friends and school friends in Delhi, initial months are a little rough for him. Then he started making friends, but his behavior has become a little different from his days in Delhi. He now mm -hmm. spends long hours online gaming, uses foul words and mm -hmm. lies frequently. One day his teacher calls you as a parent, warns you that your child seems to have fallen in bad company, quickly picks up fights and has started using abusive words and is not focused yeah. in class. Now, how many of us have gone through this? This exactly. is such a real life scenario. Exactly. So you, you've created a real life scenario yeah. and tried to marry it with the Ayodhya Khan. So yeah. what's, the, what's the connection? Exactly. How, how does a parent who's dealing with perhaps separation syndrome, displacement yeah. syndrome, or bad or company of, or the bad company of yeah. kids. See, it can, a lot of things can trigger. Exactly. So res exactly. Resentment of having been uprooted yeah. can create from a point of insecurity, yeah. not yeah. knowing people, and yeah. then it's a behavioral thing. Yeah. So how does that connect with Ramayana and that to Ayodhya Khan? Ayodhya Khan. So in Ayodhya Khan, uh, Ayodhya Khan starts with uh, Rama's exile. Mm. Uh, and R Rama is exiled along with, uh, and Lakshman and Sita also offer that we will also go. Bharat comes back and he sees a very dilapidated Ayodhya. He left a very happy Ayodhya. When he came back, Dashrath is dead. Uh, Ram, Lakshman, Sita is out and whole Ayodhya is mourning, mm. right? On various things. But Rama is gone, Dashrath is dead, right? Mm. And KK is trying to convince, no, no, I got it for you. You are mm. the king now. He said, no, mm. I don't want to appropriate anything which is not mine, it's a, which is not rightfully mine. And he said, I will go and search for Rama and I'll get him back. He's my eldest son, he loves me. And if he hears me, he'll, he, will, he will come back. Now he's going, he's going, they don't know where is he. But till Saryu, they dropped him and after that, they don't know, right? Mm. So he's uh, talking to various rishis, he's talking to Guha mm. and he's searching through the way, right? And he's going with the whole force, all the mothers, all the, all the rishis went through. And Lakshmana is watching all this to happen, mm. right? Mm. And Lakshmana is saying and alarming Rama mm. that Bharat is coming to kill you, right? Mm. In the rishis who was giving the clue, they're also saying, they're also thinking that Bharat is going to kill. Even mm. Guha thought Bharat is going to kill. Mm. Can you imagine? And Bharat was going with a very, 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 very yeah. good heart. So this is this is the effect uh, effect of a bad company mm. because people thought Bharat is a part of the caucus of KKI and Mantra. Mm. That what a what even with a good intention, if you roam around, if you are associated with a bad company, this can happen to you. So this story can very easily communicate, right? That don't hang around with bad people. Even even if you are good, your other behavior, your habits are good. You attend classes, mm. you don't do anything hanky panky. But if you roam around with different kind of people, people will associate you. Like kis kisat photo ke chata. Politics mm. me will see, correct, right? Correct. Like Prime Minister get pictured with some random person and say, oh my God, he was he was with him here and there, right? Something. Don't don't be with people who are who are identity you're not sure with. So mm. yeah. So, so, so that's where. That's but where. but in terms of uh, uh, understanding and having a moral compass and choosing between right and wrong, one yeah. of the examples, primary examples, is Ram. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maryada Purushottam. Yeah. But there are also others who needed motivation. Exactly. There are there are characters within the Ramayana who did not know their potential. Exactly. Hanuman. Hanuman. Yeah. So right. they needed a jambo one there. Exactly. So you 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 try to bring that out also. Exactly. In, in fact, uh, in you have a chapter I just realized. In fact, so in fact, motivation can do wonders. Exactly. I'll just come to that. Exactly. So what I'm also trying to do, I'm also trying to put these idioms and phrases, right? Let's say we use this term called yeah. Herculean effort. Huh. We don't even know who's Hercules. Is. Hercules. A lot of lot of people don't know the story. Yeah. So I'm also trying to point out people. Why don't you use Indian examples? Yeah. Whenever you want to motivate someone massively, you can say, Oh my God, he needs a jamun like motivation. Uh, jamun Otherwise, like he's yeah. dead. Right? Or a bajrangbali like effort. Bajrangbali like effort, right? So within 
think we should because see mm. we use lot of lot of idioms but let's use more of indian idioms right uh -huh. so we all know uh, hanuman ji don't take skills. mantras advice don't take mantras <laughs> advice exactly I, i quoted that don't take mantras advice i think bad advice i said mantras advice mantras advice, advice uh -huh. exactly yeah. so hanuman ji knew that Han hanuman ji had a lot of capabilities he has ashta siddhi uh -huh. as you say ashta siddhi non nidhi ke data but he has forgotten aswartin janaki mata exactly he has forgotten it because of some prank he played when he was a child uh, to rishi said you will only remember it when someone when you need it and someone will remind you hmm. and jaman began that person when they have to jump that sea or cross that sea they needed someone the conversation was like they they uh, through sampati jatai's hmm. brother they got that okay sita mata is there like hmm. there means they they are this yeah. part of the sea but who will cross it hmm. Angad is saying, "I can go, but I cannot come I back." I won't have the energy to come back. To come yeah. back, yeah. and Jamond is saying, "This old person. Oh my God, you kids! If I was young, yeah. I could have done I'm that." I'm too old. Game. Otherwise, I would Otherwise, have done that. Right? Yeah. Remember, like the old people yeah. say, "Tum bache to khate nio, ghi ni khate ho." Right? Almost like that. And then he says, "But Hanuman ji is saying, 'No, I'm not part of this conversation.' Right? Then he reminds him, right, that who are you? Who? What you can do? Hmm. And then he like he he takes a swim, he flies, he jumps, and what he does, yeah. we all know that he comes back with a burning lanka. Yeah, he was just sent for searching Mata Sita, but he gave a signal to the enemy that if one one uh, yeah. uh, dude can do this much." If the Rama's whole army will come, what will happen, right? Have, so, have you used Angad's conversation with Angad? Angad conversation. Angad, not not much of Angad conversation. I I did some some part of it, but mm -hmm. the interesting part is that I have not come to the youth camp. Yeah, part, so I think the interesting part in Hanuman ji is that he was just sent for one purpose, mm -hmm. simple purpose that just find Mata Sita. Yeah. He does this meticulously. He does the I call it a change of password. Yeah. Like gives a ring so that I validate his identity. Right. Takes a chura money for Mata Sita so yeah. and validates her identity back. Yeah. and then he picks up a artificial fight so hmm. that he wants to land in the court of ravana so that he wants to see what ravana is like who are in the court then he realizes oh he he lands up there he realizes oh they have dharmic characters here there is vibhishan there right and then he burns half of the lanka not one third of the lanka and in the mayhem of that smoke he also finds out what are the weaponry who are the high points who are the low points where will we camp the person sent for one per, one one task accomplish four or five tasks and four comes back comes right back. so that's why i say he's my hanuman like someone yeah. like a, a, yeah. a, a, a amazing employee yeah. he's, a, he's my uh, I, i can't call hanuman ji employee huh. i'm saying if someone colleague like that who will not love uh, and that's why whenever i do my workshops anand i ask who's your favorite character instead of shri ram people say hanuman ji hanuman so can you imagine a bhakt is more more popular than the god himself Correct. i'm sure ram ji ram ji will not even mind it right so, and a lot of people say ram ji is like a door to shri ram so yeah right? yeah, the, yeah. The, the hanuman is a door to yeah, shri sorry, ram hanuman hanuman is a, hanuman ji is, 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 is a door to, to shri ram so and uh, this is something that uh, i don't know if it's part of the text but it's mm -hmm. it's a conversation where ram and sita have it with hanuman and even mm -hmm. as sita blesses him for being a chiranjeevi chiranjeevi that chief exactly. you know so ram says that they will till the time my name is taken your name will your be name taken, taken and will taken more yeah and people who take your name will find their way to me way to exactly. so so that is something which is uh, which is also and mentioned and you started your conversation in ayodhya and the, and the temple opening till the time temple was not there the place we everyone will visit is hanuman gadi hanuman right? gadi that's yeah. like the de facto yeah. big temple there yeah. till the time yeah. and still and people say go to hanuman gadi and then do yeah, the like that then then do ramlala ramlala so, right? so, so the point so is like that, the that ramlala won't see you till you don't see <laughs> hanuman the permission the of hanuman ji hanuman exactly. ji so now so final question and yeah. uh, it's it's interesting because it makes for a fun read it's uh, it's not very heavy on the this yep. one but do you want families to do this together Or uh, are the dads going to see it, or the moms going to see it and pass it on to this? I mean, the idea is, you know, I, daughter, idea, and son idea is that. Ah, uh, tum bado, ab tum karo. Exactly, exactly. The idea is, uh, dad and mom maybe do a quick read and then bring out a lot of conversation. So, if you see any exercise, I have written, let's say, discuss this in your family. What K K and Mantra did. on the dinner table on the breakfast so i have given the kind of a prescription like uh, why don't you bring out this discussion a so, lot of people say but then uh, does that apply to 10 year plus because your son uh, you've you've kept I, i think i think it's a very oh. easy read it's a very easy read it's so not necessarily can, only teenagers exactly they can yeah. also bring out this conversation uh. and this conversation and see blasphemy is not a concept in indian ethos right we can still challenge shri ram we can still challenge mata sita we can at least for the conversation so there something good will come out so a lot of people yeah. say let's say why did he do what he did why did he do what he do yeah. what i would have done different right yeah. what what if if kki would not have sent rama to jungle uh, mm -hmm. or with ramana would have been killed right so can you do a lot of this what ifs and permutation combinations and a lot of good will come out and a lot of beautiful conversation will come out so i want to bring this conversation through this book through uh, original this 25 case studies and mm. people can build on this case studies mm. people can add more case studies to it it's like a mm. work in progress right so, so that's now, the idea now as somebody who's not just a ram bhakt but a core up person uh, how important is this 
temple inauguration how important is this a temple for ram lala because a lot of people would just say it's just another ram temple so exactly. what's the big exactly. deal about exactly. it exactly. so exactly. i think i'm sure anand you must have visited ram lala in the tent right i did multiple times whenever yeah. i went to ayodhya in fact when i was doing my biography of yogi ji i used to go to gorakhpur very often and a lot of people don't know where ayodhya right in india Correct. a lot of people don't know where ayodhya is exactly. so if you you land in lucknow it's two two and a half right and in fact i realized this first time where exactly ayodhya is while going to gorakhpur right uh-huh. it's four hours and midway to ayodhya i started going to ayodhya met a lot of scholars went to the uh, tent temple so to say and the first time i felt enraged right like in ayodhya in india in bharatvarsh ram is in a tent we can't make a temple we have to find a case for that uh-huh. uh, but the other thing is that people don't realize that this is the temple for ram lalla exactly this yeah. is the only it's child not, form of ram it's not siyavar ram yeah. it's not it's not like uh, the, it's a like the brain macho ram ha, right ha, ram yeah. this is baby ram baby and ram baby ram in where his city he, at, where is the, the, no, the place exist. where he was exactly. born exactly. so so that's why this temple is important it's because very, there can be only one jan bhumi and there can be uh a uh, baby ram lala so and you, economically also uh, hmm. anand right uh, uh, ayodhya was curtailed from this amazing religious economy yeah. right what tripati is what shridi is or what other 100 to 100 indian religious tourist places are and now even without the temple being built with the choti diwali that deepotsav itself yeah. lot of media people are traveling lot of other people are traveling no, no, they are traveling along. Along. And, very and difficult to get a hotel there yeah, and, and it's great business for the and neighboring district, district. The neighboring so aas paas ke 7 8 exactly. subah jo hai 100 square kilometer they are, they are getting the kripa of lakshmi ji also now <laughs> kripa <laughs> of lakshmi ji well yeah. great fantastic uh, lovely Thank your you. final Thank message you. to your viewers on this book uh, i wish you all the best you've been yeah. on writing spree every 6 month we end up talking about some book or the other that he's <laughs> doing but but what's your message on this i book? think my message is just think of li- whenever you have any tragedy any disappointment think of life of rama hmm. rama was about to be the king the next day he was exiled it's like almost suicidal right yeah. if i if i tell you you are the ceo of this company and then you get a second letter then no no, no. let's alone see you you're fired from the company it's hmm. almost that right okay you are in the jungle you don't know what to eat where to stay 13 years are passed somehow you are learning every day from different groups in 13th year your wife got kidnapped then you are uh, for your wife you are raging the biggest war of your life you are almost dead twice right in the hands mm-hmm. of vibhishan yeah. uh, in the hands of Vish, uh, indrajit indrajit right? yeah so you lost your kingdom you lost your wife you lost your almost lost your life but and you are about to lose your brother also you uh, lost uh, your brother so and you are not cheating a day you are not cheating your vanvas dharma you are not cheating your war dharma you are doing every rules of the game and still after thousands of years in cnn ib and we are discussing around yeah, yeah. he is victorious yeah. so whenever you are disappointed think of your tragedy or disappointment compared with rama hmm. and i think rama's story of perseverance of 14 years is the perseverance of a story of perseverance of india after hmm. multiple invasions we are the only living civilizations yeah. rama taught us perseverance we, st- we, st- we are still carrying yeah, but Ra- rama taught us taught perseverance he also said that if you need it you got to go for it and you if you need to it. if you need to fight for it you need to fight for it as, with all as your heart modi no, called no, it bhai bin hoye na preet ha bhai bin hoye na preet true shantru fantastic you. speaking with you, you and thank i look you. forward to my family reading this book for sure thank and you very much the yes absolutely <laughs> that i'm looking forward to with thank my you. daughter and son thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you.